Throughout history, various ethnic groups have inhabited the planet. Each of these groups developed its own societies in the areas where they settled, creating specific cultures, traditions, and ways of life. These distinct characteristics serve to differentiate them, giving them a unique identity. A notable example is the Roma, also known by some as gypsies, who preserved their culture over hundreds of years, adopting unique lifestyles in various nations. They have their roots in northern India. In other words, individuals now known as Roma or gypsies are of Indian origin. Historical accounts suggest that around the year 420 AD, these groups began migrating from northern India to Afghanistan and Pakistan westward. Among the chosen destinations were countries such as England, Greece, Bulgaria, Romania, and Turkey. Currently, the global Roma population is estimated to be around 8 million. There are various theories attempting to explain why the Roma left India and moved westward. Some suggest they were forcibly taken as slaves by rulers in the first century, while others indicate they migrated to serve as mercenaries in conflicts, later settling in western states. A distinctive feature of the Roma is the preservation of their lifestyle and culture, regardless of where they settle. Despite being known for their love of dance, Roma often live on the fringes of society in most countries, not fully accepted by local communities. This social isolation can be attributed in part to the behavior of the Roma themselves, who tend to keep a distance from the broader society. For example, it is common for them to withdraw their children from schools at a young age, live in closed communities, and prefer marriages within their ethnic group, reinforcing their separation from society as a whole. In Bulgaria, Roma live in a segregated manner, resulting in tense relations both with Bulgarians and among themselves. According to some sources, Bulgarian Roma tend to avoid formal employment, occupying vacant lots that they adapt to their needs. Over time, these places become exclusive Roma neighborhoods, further accentuating the division between them and the rest of society. The main cause of the distant relationship between Bulgarians and Roma seems quite evident. The unrestrained lifestyle of the Roma and their apparent disregard for social norms create discomfort among Bulgarians. Previously, the Roma population in Bulgaria was larger. However, with the country's entry into the European Union and the subsequent opening of borders, many Roma migrated to other European countries, reducing their presence in Bulgaria. Currently, Bulgarian Roma predominantly reside in areas resembling slums located in less developed rural regions of cities. These areas inhabited by the Roma are notably neglected by the government, characterized by poorly maintained roads, houses with peeling paint, and poorly kept green spaces. The quality of life in these locations is considerably lower than that of a typical village with old houses and individual gardens, compared to apartment buildings. To better understand the social dynamics of the Roma in this country, it is interesting to observe the cases of brides. These circumstances have led the Roma in Bulgaria to maintain a rather unusual tradition that is carried out annually. This tradition is so unique that these impoverished communities see it as an opportunity for a life change. In Bulgaria, where unemployment is high and most people live modestly, the Roma, with an even lower standard of living, have found a way to improve their conditions through their daughters. In ancient Anatolian culture, it was common for the groom's family to pay a dowry to the bride's father, a custom often portrayed in old films. This dowry was given as a wedding gift, and the bride would leave her family. Over time, this practice evolved in many countries, and the idea of a cash dowry faded away. Currently, in countries like Turkey, money is not directly paid to the bride, but the bride's family may request gold gifts, such as bracelets, necklaces, and earrings, and also expect the groom to cover most of the wedding expenses. Thus, the dowry has modernized. However, in Bulgaria, what happens with the Roma is a commercialized version of this practice. Families withdraw their daughters from school after primary education and prepare them for marriage, effectively selling them in open-air markets. The Bulgarian government does not impose sanctions against this practice, and at certain times of the year, these markets are held, attracting people from various regions of Bulgaria, where girls are handed over to strangers in exchange for money. Although many consider this an archaic and primitive custom, this tradition persists among the Kalai Roma clan in Bulgaria, seen by local Roma as part of their culture. On the day the bride market takes place, there is an atmosphere of excitement and anticipation in Roma families' homes. The girls strive to present themselves in the most elegant and attractive way possible. For example, families start preparing a year in advance, acquiring expensive clothes and shoes to enhance their daughter's elegance. With the preparations complete, Roma girls are taken to the market. The surprising aspect is that they participate in these events voluntarily and seem content with the situation. Perhaps due to their limited interaction with broader society, they view these markets as a valuable opportunity in their lives. Furthermore, the price set for each girl in the market varies based on her age and appearance, determined by the father. Generally, an 18-year-old girl has a higher value than a 25-year-old. 
If a high offer is made for a daughter, the family feels great pride and often mentions it. Or, if the person herself married in this way, she takes pride in how much she was worth at that time. Thus, for the Roma in Bulgaria, being assessed in monetary terms is a source of contentment. Roma families go together to the bride market, usually on Sundays. According to information, the amount that the groom's family should spend to obtain an average bride varies between 50,000 and 100,000 levs, and can reach up to 150,000 in some cases. In Bulgaria, where income is low compared to other European countries and the lev has high value, amounts like 50,000 levs are considered very high. By the way, lev is the local currency of Bulgaria, and the concept of money is highly valued. The amount allocated to the dowry is seen as sufficient. Interestingly, features like blue eyes, rare in Bulgaria, can influence the increase in price. Additionally, it is common for the bride and groom's families to meet for the first time at the market to avoid prior acquaintances. During the school period, almost no Roma girl continues her studies beyond primary education. Roma children, both boys and girls, are taken to these markets from the age of 14 to get married, indicating a marriage at a very young age. Consequently, it is rare to see Roma participating in social life in Bulgaria, as marrying their daughters through bride markets is considered more appropriate. It is important to note that these customs of the Roma in Bulgaria do not represent all Roma communities worldwide. The bride markets maintained by the Kala Roma are held in Stara, now one of the largest cities in Bulgaria, with a significant Roma population. These open markets at certain times of the year attract many visitors from across Europe to Stara, contributing to the local economy. For both parties involved in Roma weddings in Bulgaria, there are important criteria to be considered. The bride's family seeks a groom with the greatest wealth possible, while for the groom, the bride should be the youngest and most attractive possible. Marriage on these terms is based purely on external criteria such as physical appearance and wealth and can be seen as a mutually beneficial arrangement. However, the Roma have a distinctive characteristic, even coming from different tribes, that can establish connections and integrate quickly with each other. For example, after the agreement is sealed at the wedding market, a celebration is organized at the bride's house, with the groom's participation. These celebrations include dances and music, central elements in Roma culture, allowing them to keep their cultural traditions alive without assimilation. The tradition of the dowry remains relevant, whether the couple met at the market or not, highlighting that this practice is a constant in the culture. After getting married, Roma women are traditionally responsible for obeying their husbands and dedicating themselves to the care of the home and family. Thank you for staying until the end. Like and comment below if you are not familiar with this Roma tradition.